Olympia Fulvia Maranta in Cicerones Paradoxa, Episode 6. Ut nihil interia dicam, quod merito ego tanquam rudis tirumcula non deberem, qualis penteselea furens cum tantis viris concurere. In the previous portion, we had a quod clause with audiverem and legerem in a colon. Now we have the result clause, ut nihil, with the result that I say, or I speak, nothing, I say nothing in the meantime. I am saying nothing in the meantime. This is a result clause, as I've said, and it means she did not publish or participate in public life because, quote, I, as a mere neophyte, as a rudis, as an untried beginner, a rudis tiruncula. Sometimes this is spelled like so, tiruncula with an I. It's the diminutive of tiro, which means someone who is a beginner, a neophyte, someone inexperienced. Because I, as a rank amateur, she says with modesty, really, truly, deservedly, should not, non deberem, should not have. This is an imperfect subjunctive, first singular, active, from the second conjugation verb, debeo debere. Because I really should not, as an untried amateur, have participated in public life, she says, or published things. As though, qualis, as though I were Penthesilea, this is the queen of the Amazons, as though I were Penthesilea, raging, fu reigns, daring, concurera, this is the infinitive, third conjugation, daring or raging, to come into conflict with such great men, cum tantis viris. Notice how the compound verb concurera requires then that we repeat the formant of the compound cum, in the same clause, as though I were Penthesilea raging to come into conflict with such great men. Here, Olympia uses a literary metaphor, an allusion to Homer, of course, to explain why she has been reluctant to enter the realm of publishing and letters, because she views herself as a rudis tirincula, a rank amateur not worthy to engage in quarrels, public literary quarrels, with more accomplished men, cum tantis viris. Here we have a map of northern Italy and the location of the city of Ferrara, where Olympia was born and where she served at the court of René the Duchess.